Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mano Destra 777 and we're back inside of Destiny. Let's take a look here at what Xur has for us today on July 15th and 16th of 2016. He is over in the reef over here in this room to the right as you spawn in. Let's see what he has. He's going to obviously has his normal set of wares. He's going to have his blue and his red uh, drives for your rare sparrows. He's going to have your three heavy ammo synthesis for your one strange coin, your five three of coins for seven strange range coins it's going to give you the glass needles for all that stuff as well as motes of light um, if you've got strange coins to spare i would definitely look into buying heavy ammo synthesis and motes of light so you can boost up your character especially when rise of iron comes out but i'm going to be talking a little bit more about that on how to prepare for rise of iron when the time comes but let's take a look at what he has for us today first of all he's got ruin wings for the titan which will give you heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop it also increases melee attack speed and auto rifle and rocket launcher uh, reload speeds. This is a very, very, very good PvE exotic. It is not a PvP exotic as it does nothing to boost it in PvP. This is something I always use when I am doing the raid. Um, no, it doesn't consistently make heavy ammo drop all the time, but it does make it drop more often and it, it often does contain more ammo. I usually run with this all the time when I am in the raid. So this is a definite pickup. However, this is not a tier 12 build. What do I mean by a tier 12 build? Um, some people have been asking about my videos. Basically, if you look here, my intellect is a tier four. My discipline is a tier three, almost a tier four. And then my strength in this case would be a tier four. So what I could do is maybe do some shifting around so we would have four, four, and four, or maybe something like five, five, and two. That would be the maximum amount of essentially like a super and ability uh, strength and discipline and intellect, all those things that you can do to boost your abilities, guys. So that is what I talk about every week. Let's continue looking at what he has. Just wanted to make sure because people have been asking me in my videos what I mean. Next up, we have Young Ahankara Spine, which increases trip main grenade duration, gain an additional trip mine grenade charge, increase reload speed with scout rifles, increase grenade throw distance, increases the reload speed of machine guns. Uh, since the trip mine grenade received a nerf, uh, this has kind of become a second tier exotic in my mind. Um, you can't use trip mine grenades to essentially stick people. Trip mine grenades are still decent, but uh, I'm, I'm finding less and less use for something like Yam Ahamkara's spine. I'm possibly looking for boots of AO or something like that to increase my mobility and my movement into the Crucible. This is a decent roll. Um, it's a like a 94% roll. Uh, when it comes to, say, for example, like tier 12 builds, um, not great, but it's definitely one you'd like to have in your arsenal for PvP, just in case if you love running Gunslinger. Next up, we have the Light Beyond Nemesis for the Warlocks. This essentially uh, is the most important thing for you to use for when you want to revive and be revived faster. This is a great Trials Helmet. Every Warlock should have this. However, this particular model is not a Tier 12 build. Supers do also generate an extra orb. You get bonus super energy from melee kills on Minions of the Darkness and from heavy weapon kills on the Darkness. You have to choose one of those. This is an Intellect Strength roll. This is a definite pickup. Uh, if you do not have it, especially if you enjoy playing Trials and you are a Warlock, this is something you need to have in your arsenal. It's essentially like a Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Titan or the Hunter, but in this case, it's for the Warlock. Next up, we have the Super Good Advice Machine Gun. Missed shots may be returned to the magazine. Landed shots may be replaced in your magazine from reserves. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. Uh, really, the only place to use this in year two is maybe fighting the Shade when you are doing the raid uh, right now. Otherwise, this is not really that great of an exotic it's fun to have it's fun to use it fires ridiculously fast but that is the essential uh pieces of super good advice it's something you want to pick up for your arsenal but it is not a tier top tier exotic for you the legendary legacy engram 
uh, is the Gauntlet Engram. You can get that for 29 Strange Coins. You can get the Super Good Advice for 17 Strange Coins, and then all the other options for 13 Strange Coins. So guys, that is Zer. Did he bring something that you wanted? Are you going to get that uh, Super Good Advice? Are you going to pick up that Light Beyond Nemesis? Let me know in the comments down below. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, come check out my Twitch live stream, guys, uh, and I can give you some advice on what you should pick up for exotics. And guys, I will see you next time in the universe of destiny.